We did get the Easter egg. That is a good point well made. The Easter egg being the treasure that you get especially and exclusively if you have to get three of babies. Technically Gwen, maybe. The treasure that you can only get if you triple the Humpty Dumpty. Nexus Caster, thank you very much for the tier one subscription. Enjoy your emotes and chat. And welcome back to the Republic said, sorry for contributing to killing you, Rhapsody. Given that you got me addicted to the game, I feel like it's somewhat fitting. Frankly, I apologize. This is my fault. I take full responsibility for this. Hey, can I do some of that? I could get two kitties, but... I've also got a free roll next round anyway. Submarine for Beatles. Thank you very much for the T1 subscription to the seventh month. It says, I'm declaring this one will be a dub. As in, uh... A second loss? A dub in that fashion? Or a... Uh oh, that's not helpful. Fine, I'm gonna get some evils on board at the absolute least. I didn't say it, I declared it, okay? A declaration is being passed down. A royal decree that this shall be a win. Perhaps what's a good type of food to get on a lunch date? Flat boyfriendo and I are meeting up tomorrow and I need advice on where to go for our lunch date. I have always loved a... a uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's weather permitting, right? And I'm obviously thinking about this kind of thing being weather permitting considering it's it's winter here. Uh, but going out for a lovely lunchtime ramen at a place, it's nothing quite like it. Ooh. I popped the mag magic dragon without any support. You, excuse, uh, por quoi? Whew, okay. Uh, oh, let's get a couple of those bad boys. When one of your monsters dies, give it plus two attack permanently, or you get the first attack each brawl. I do really like the Ring of Regeneration. If it just keeps you in the fight for an extra battle, sometimes that's all you need. Hermes Booze is pretty good for setting up slays, and getting it really early means that I can start trying to use it with the... What's the name? Brave Adventurer. Winter where? You south of the equator? Mm-hmm. I am Australian. From the big land down under. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. What does Gwen do? We have begun with a knighthood, which is a spell that will allow us to permanently upgrade a character. As much as I could get a, a pair for Billy Badgroff, I can also get a pair for the vampires right now. With Like, this is a really... This is, like, save getting an experience boost of some kind. This is the earliest I could get a pair for these, so... Hopefully they perform well. Thank you, Flop Freak. That's very kind of you to say. Can you not tell by my outrageous accent? I sound like I'm a true Aussie. I do, I do, I do. Hmm. It's worth noting as well, the Knighthood does count as a spell cast for the turn, so because we can only cast one spell, we're going to have to cast it on the turn. We haven't got something else. How many deadly spiders and snakes have I seen? I've seen very few snakes. I've seen a fair amount of deadly spiders. I have been, uh, as a child, very quickly carted away from many sheds uh, where it was like, yeah, we don't go to that shed anymore. Why? There's a red back in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for the heads up. Uh... So where are we going with this build, right? If I'm looking for a, a unit that really helps us take off a trajectory from where we currently are, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the Evil Queen. Mm, that's not great. Three cost Slay Scaler. Yeah, I would really like some Slay. It's just I don't want to hard roll and then, you know, if I waste six gold this turn, I lose. 
Oh. Huh? Okay. Geppetto probably hasn't tripled anything yet, so kidnap doesn't make a bunch of sense yet. I'm settling. I'm settling for it. When in the game does it uh, make the most sense to use the knighthood upgrade typically? I mean, I don't... I don't claim to know for certain. However, the way I've been approaching it so far is if a unit is going to be in your end build in some fashion, it's pretty comfortable to upgrade. So that can happen as early as, you know, like a... I mean, sometimes it can happen with a three. Maybe you get an evil queen and you'd really want to get that super upgraded. Um, I wouldn't, but you could. All right. Whenever you trigger Slayer ability, get one of the goals. Take the evil support here as well. <sighs> the annoying thing is I'm pretty sure I still lose to Merlin. Before you die is probably correct for the knighthood. Yes, I would agree with that. IMO Evil Queen wouldn't be in my end comp. That, yeah, no, that is entirely fair as well, right? Evil Queen not being in your end comp. But I'm, I'm trying to think of an example of something as early as tier 3 that you might have in your build for a really long period of time. Because I don't want to do it to just, you know, like a hard upgrade a happy little tree. Because then I need to find a lot of buffs for that happy little tree's attack. Like, I could. Hmm. Oh, I want that. Oh, game. Do I care about Evil Queen right now? Like, enough? Yep. Can you knight a Pop Puff? Yes! Pop Puffs just don't upgrade with other Pop Puffs. They can be upgraded, though. Just not by collecting many of them. Jonas! Good to see you, bud. Eve with Prime subscription, enjoy your moments in chat, and welcome back to the Republic. Don't lock going into four. Yeah, locking locking going into a higher tier is pretty rough. Agreed. Hmm. Another goal, thank you, Vainpire. I locked going into four there because I think the Queen of Hearts is one of the best units that I can get to sustain and stabilize my board at the moment, including tier fours. Thanks. All right, I think I know what my play is. And I think my play is literally just try and get to the end game and then knight the first six that I see. So I'm gonna take Blessing of Athena and then roll. No. I'd happily take the sheep. Sheep and spell. Sheep and spell and roll next turn. Locking for a sheep? Yeah, it's reasonable because I have the evil support. Yeah, uh, evil queen. It's not a prince or princess here. The, uh, the queen of hearts. It's like how puff puffs are not good monsters. They're good puff puffs. Unique puff puff type. Got an extra gold out of that turn too. Hey, and another one. Thank you kindly. Enemies doing the same build as I am, but I am doing it slightly weaker than they are, but very slightly. Uh, the Queen of Hearts is plus four, plus four when it's upgraded. Hmm. I still really don't want to run a Juliet build. Yikes. Uh, there's still a three treasure I care about. 
Grim Soul for the Slay Triggers. Uh, the fact that I haven't been able to find a single adventurer has been pretty depressing. In most cases, a queen used to be a princess at some point. True, but the mechanical implementation of them is different. Was the Minotaur though? The Minotaur just gives my other evil characters plus one attack. I don't care about getting a, a upgraded version of the Labyrinth Minotaur. In fact, he's quite likely to go out of the... In fact, he goes out of the deck right now. We trade him for <laughs> the Wicked Witch. I should have done that there. We're not too far from being able to stabilize, as we saw in the last fight. <laughs> Kaim is going to be annoying, though. Oh! Killed one of their vultures early. It's going to make life a lot easier for us. Nice. In the realm of survivability... Hmm. We're also in the area where I may just want to take like a, a high statted frontliner. Hmm. Is it time for Medusa? Really wish the Vampire would have already triggered by now. Brock Lee could be upgrade worthy. Getting it to have 30 stats on board. It'd help us live for a little bit, but then the problem is we get to late game and we have no real power because it's still not that good. I'm gonna take some rolls. It's way too late to take. Is it too late to take the adventurer with a Grim Soul? No, it's not. It's not too late to take the adventure with the Grim Soul, and in fact, we take the Grim Soul, then we upgrade you. Uh, that's kind of messed up, but you can see what I'm going for here. <laughs> Scamming some experience out. Thank you. I'll take my almost level six. One of the reasons I did that with the Grim Soul is because Grim Soul will scale into late game. If I get, oh my god, we're actually level six. If I can now get Yorman Guns, I I have a build online. That's a Slayer. Come on, come on, just anything with Yorman Gun. <laughs> Never punished, baby. All right, build online. Snack located. Hi. Uh, I should take that Doom Breath as well. Um, get away, get away. You two, you two. That, that. Doom Breath also should probably attack pretty early. Something like that. Something like that. Not good utilization of the Wicked Witch, but... Oh, well, I guess we can move that over then. Which also is some good utilization of the Wicked Witch. I mean, I guess that can be at the very, very end, but it feels like Jormungand also wants to trigger his slays as early as he can, outside of even the Grim Soul's trigger. So the Grim Skull is going to trigger the slay ability of Jormungand two times, which is also in front of doubling slay abilities, so it's going to trigger it four times, giving plus 80, plus 80. Um, unless there's a Hex of some kind on the opponent's board, we should be fine. No hex. Plus 100, plus 100. I'm, I'm sad to kill this enemy as well because they've got one of my favorite builds online, which is the Trophy Hunter Last Breaths are also Slay abilities and Pop Puffs. I 
it's an absolute shame to have to murder them. But of course we must. Get in. So I'm like, rich as hell? <laughs> I got stonks for days, and I'm only going to continue, so I'm going to be extremely picky with my picks. It's like level fives and sixes or hard bust, and the fives really have to contribute. Grumble Gore goes in. Wretched Mummy goes in. Is it early enough for Hercules? I think it's early enough for Hercules. Hercules goes in. Just hold. It's always early enough for Herc. It is not always early enough for Herc. Sometimes Herc is just... Ugh. <laughs> you know? I'm actually going to put Herc out front now. Honey, you mean Hercules. Zero to hero, just like that. When he smiles, the girls go wild, like, <laughs> Best believe they slapped his face on every vase. Whoa. Another Hercules hit. Hercules! Another Hercules? But. Okay. That's that's a pretty easy bar for you to meet next round. Hmm. Forty should be really easy, yeah. It's relatively likely to happen in a Oh come on. So good boy and Robin would immediately ask me, hey, do you want to change your build? That's what they ask. They ask, do you want to become a good build instead? I have so little other minion support for it. I don't want to because I'm like one Oni King from being where I want to with this build. I'm going to take the reroll. It hurts though. None of those. That's another Yomengand, but I could also just knight someone. I know what I do. We knight you, and then we take the Yormengand. So we're knighting Baba Yaga here because we haven't... Oh, uh, do I have the ability to sell enough to get that? No. Um, because we have the ability to cast a spell this turn. We want to cast a spell every turn if we really have the ability. Uh, I have no extra Baba Yagas. And also, when you knight a unit, it becomes golden, but you don't get a level... Uh, a treasure of its level. Oh! Ah, 30. Oh, no. Also, that actually survived as a result. Nice. Um, but you don't get a treasure of the level of a character when you knight them. You get it when you triple them. So instead, I want to try and make sure I get the level 6 by getting my third Jormungand. It's a tiny little optimization just around the things that have been offered to me so far. I have a lot of gold as well, so you should be able to hard roll for this. Only King comes with me. I mean, worst case scenario, I can pay two or get two for the treasure and then sell this unit. Huh, let's get a level seven treasure, baby. Okay. Well, that'll happen. Uh... Yep. Uh... Replace Doom Breath with Oni right now. And I think I will invert those. Alright. You seem to be in a good position now. Ha 
Ha-ha-ha! That person thought it was uh, early enough for a herc? They were wrong. They were deadly wrong. We get a level 7 regardless because of Hercules. Hercules gives you a level 6. We only get a level 7 because we had a increase. You get level 7 as a Hercules when you're playing Trophy Dragon. Trophy Dragon, Horde Dragon. Alright, Herc. I'm already getting more gold than I can ever spend pretty easily. Yeah, Mirror for the Grim Soul resummons pretty good. Mm. I kind of want the Phoenix Feather, but the thing is, the thing that really trashes me right now is a Hex more than anything else. And the Phoenix Feather won't save me from that. Taking the Mirror. I got 26 seconds as well to continue rolling down all of this gold, so oops. Really didn't give myself enough time for this. I'm going to go for the plus 10 health permanently on our backliner there. Try and shore it up against a couple different things. Uh, I'll be happy to take a pump king. And you know what? Let's swap those out. Especially with the resummon, pump king wants to be there. Pumpkin resummons itself, and a uh, level 6 has died. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, it's time to scam the enemy here, because they keep killing my goddamn Yomagot. Oh, Thankfully, uh, we also are not otherwise. That'll do. Mm. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just way too much gold. Just a non-okay amount of gold. Hey. Uh, okay. Why well, now I have to choose something that I no longer want to support on my board? Doom Breath is too much. No. Hard no. 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 Echo Wood. Echo Wood totally could go on the board right now. She gets huge when Yormungan does. Echo Wood instead of Grumble Gore. Yeah, something like that, right? Grumble Gore's ranged, though. Okay, we're fine. <sighs> Echo Wood's not a trap with the Oni King pumping everything up as well as Jormungand getting gigantic. It's, it's look at the look at the Echo Wood right now. Please look at the Echo Wood and tell me it's a trap. Look at the Echo Wood and tell me it's a trap. Come on, look at what's the, what's the, what's, the, what's this trap here, huh? And trapped in now at a good time. <sighs> oh, this is the worst. When you leave someone on one HP, they always come back to kill you. By the way, uh, Bentley Bieber, thank you for watching the tier one subscription. Enjoy your moments in chat and welcome to the Republic. A little bit of an early prediction on your part that this is going to be a win, but uh, <laughs> I hope you're right. Double your support bonuses. Uh, the support bonus of this is triple your slay abilities. So now it's six tuple your slay abilities on Jormungand, who has a plus 40 40, and it's tripled, uh, sorry, it's doubled two times. So uh, six, 12, 12, 12 by four is 48. So 480, 480. That's stats, baby. 
Uh, Croc made it hilarious because it actually would resummon a croc, which would then resum. Oh my god! Oh my god! I actually have to do it, don't I? It's actually good. <laughs> Chomp. <laughs> um. Uh, this, this is character with slay attack twice. Replace Hermes boots. Replacing Hermes boots is rough there. It does give the enemy one ability to one-shot my Jormungand before anything happens. But my characters with Slay attack twice now, which is also good. Hmm. Stats. Delectable stats. Hey! Stop scamming me! Why? <sighs> Good thing I have an echo, Wood. It is 9 a.m., which means it's time to switch from coffee back to water. Hmm. None needed there, none needed there, nor there, nor there. Hmm. I'm fighting the, the dead person as well. Okay, we sell Grumble Gore, take Echo Wood, and then we roll next turn hard looking for a pair on Echo Woods. Find like a wood rubber. Is that the rule? It's it's not really an intentional rule, but I always do tend to finish my uh, coffee around nine. That is to say, my first coffee, right? Like there's many more throughout the day, and I have often destroyed my sleep schedule. There was a point at which earlier in this stream we were talking about uh, what really growing up, what what getting old really is, and what it is is uh, is is learning to recognize the ways in which your body will not tolerate the punishment you keep providing to it. And part of that for me has been drinking less caffeine after midday because, oh, weird, I'm always panicked and awake at night constantly. <laughs> what? <laughs> remove Oni? Why would I remove Oni? I have a lot of monsters on the board. I'm fine with only staying there. Rotten apple bomb. Oh, as in for another echo? Yeah, I guess I could have put an echo in. I was fighting someone dead, so I really didn't even see that as a round. I was just like, I'm going to the next round and then I will fight there. <sighs> oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. I think I actually overwrite Harvest Moon. Your characters with Slayer attack twice does affect Jormungand, but past Jormungand getting big stats from the Grim Soul, he's actually, except for attacking and killing a Medusa, which there's no Medusas in the enemy build at the moment, but there are Grim, uh, the, the evil apple trees, it double attacking is negative. So I think what we're gonna do here is take the Spear of Achilles and overwrite the Harvest Moon. Despite the Slay Synergy, I think it's probably a reasonable choice for us. I'm also gonna take Shrivel. Okay. Uh, does Pumpkin go back out on board? No, the Wretched Mummy's hit on the back line is pretty good. This works. Unless we do that. I like that too. This character gives a knighthood to a character. Which is to say, up permanently upgrades a character. Okay, there goes their grumble gore. That's nice. Don't you rotten apple bomb me. Nice. Without a second attack, it's very unlikely we end up losing Jormungand to that now. You 
I moved Bobby Yaga from Yorla Gana! It's okay. I hope. Can't believe I did that. That's a panic end, uh, end turn situation right there. Spear of Achilles will take us over. It's fine. I mean, it wasn't good, but it's eminently survivable. Nice. That's gonna be one dead, uh... One dead, uh... Corella. Ta-da! Now, I'm just gonna keep trying to drag you back over to fix up this whole situation I got myself in here. 